Um, from what I understood, Game In Play was about um, hyper-masculine spaces and inserting a sense of homoeroticism in them and how hyper-masculine feeds into homoeroticism. That's what I got from it. Um, also, exploring that, that grey area in between homoeroticism and hyper-masculinity, like um, what happens in the locker room, for example. Exactly. When is it just boys being boys and when does it actually become a homoerotic situation? When is it just guys having fun, good old boarding school jokes and such? and then move into homosexuality over here. Mm. You want to tackle this bad boy first? Difficult question to answer. Don't let Jordan do it. I think uh, to a large extent, um, men, are, men are forced by society, by, by the norm to be a certain way and expected to be a certain way. And then that leads to, I think, a lot of, a lot of self-doubt with individuals who don't fit that, that stereotypical um, male uh, dominant breadwinner sort of sort of mold i mean being being masculine is is, is far more than that it's just you know it's, it's, it's quite a difficult question to answer the more i think about it the more i lose track of where where and what it actually yeah. why it needs to be done but i understand yeah. it um in terms of deconstruction because from what i understand is that everything exists in relation to masculinity mm -hmm. so in order to understand we have to deconstruct why yeah. everything is in relation to masculinity and there are so many nuances within masculinity that it's it's unexplored. You guys have done this more than I have because you know I don't like this. <laughs> wow. Um, honestly the through through this whole process I thought I had a clue but I actually actually have no idea at this current point how to define a man um, it's more about defining who you are as a man and what, how you express yourself as a male in society. That's, that's about all I can speak for is, is how I see myself and how I see others through the perspective I've been given through my upbringing, through my experiences. I, yeah, no, I, I actually, this, this show has shown me that I have no idea how to define masculinity in any shape or form. I think that's what the piece is trying to explore exactly. as well. Um, the fact that we can't define masculinity, you know, trying to find a way around deconstructing and defining masculinity. Mm. Because it's actually easier to define femininity than exactly. it is masculinity, which is... To find it in relation. Yeah, because every, everything else is sort of defined in relation, in comparison to what's considered traditional masculinity. Like, what it is to be female is not to be male. Yeah. And what, what it is and what the foundation is for that male stereotype holding fast is, is sort of like unknown and very uninvestigated. And we thought, it would, well, at the make of our piece, KG thought this was something that needs to be explored. I'd like to think we helped him explore it, <laughs> it but it's, it's his vision.